It's Madden NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Raiders and the Bills, and it's coming up next. Oh, on a gorgeous late summer afternoon, it's time for football from Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. Today, we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap, as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, here in Buffalo, they love their Bills, and for good reason. They're guys, without question, one of the favorites to lift the Lombardi Trophy in Vegas come February. And you mentioned with good reason, because we know their quarterback is one of the best players in the league, but this is an overall team built to win, especially when we get into the playoffs. Offense, defense, coaching staff, they've been knocking on the door for a while. They want to find their way through and get to the Super Bowl. And then for the Raiders, this is a tough team to figure out. They stumbled home to a 6-11 finish last year. But you say if they want to turn things around, it has to start on the defensive end. It certainly does. And while they've had some dynamic pass rushers along the way, they've needed more. And they've added them now in free agency and the draft, as well as some new faces on the back end to help shut down people throwing the football. And we are underway in Buffalo. And this taken in at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by their quarterback standing at 6-2 from Eastern Illinois. It's Jimmy Garoppolo. And Jimmy Garoppolo has shown that he can be a Super Bowl quarterback, but his biggest problem, his ability to stay healthy and remain on the field. When able, he's a capable quarterback prone to winning games both in the regular and postseason. First carry for the all-pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Play action, Garoppolo. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Like somebody thought he had an open book beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. To throw, it's Garoppolo. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a gain of six, but not enough, as they'll be forced to punt on their first drive of the game. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. you got to go up and make the tackle right away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. Then we see the Bills' offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. I remember when he came out of Wyoming, the big question mark, could he be accurate enough to be a star in the NFL? I think it's safe to say he's put all of us in our place and put those doubts to rest. He can roll out and run it. He can bomb it over your heads. Everything in between he is an absolute nightmare for defenses to try and prepare for. And when he's on, he's an MVP caliber player each and every time he takes the field. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's up. Because you know, part of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. He's going to be by multiple people. And right away, they 
told the other team, guess what? He's just better. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, then what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, grab that dagger play, grab that play and just finish him off right now, because I think they'd love to give that big advantage early. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. He will push his way down to about the 14. Divine Diablo there to make the stop. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight, now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Here's Cook again. And power running here down to the six-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down, in particular not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them... And he'll get in! Touchdown, Buffalo! Josh Allen! two-yard keeper and the Bills are on the board first here this afternoon well you gotta like that start on both sides of the football you force the three and out and then you score on your first drive well I know someone who doesn't like that start well yeah the other side yeah they don't like that at all <laughs> right this is not the way it's supposed to be but what you just described that's team football all right when you get a three and out you're supposed to take advantage of on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good, three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Now let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And not much there. 
Maybe a yard up to the 24. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And that is incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on the receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Garoppolo. And he is caught. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So the completion there, but Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Garoppolo looks to throw. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play because if you get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third, Garoppolo lets this go for Winfrey downfield. And unable to connect, incomplete. I give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. throw and he's able to get up here to the 26 so a tug on the face mask and that's going to cost him 15 yards and sometimes it'll go unnoticed but that one pretty obvious for everyone to see So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. To the air, Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's caught. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now Cook running right. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. 
That was an example of excellent defense there. They stuffed them. So now it brings up a third down situation. If I'm calling plays here, I make sure I put in the hands of my quarterback and get it to a receiver real fast. I'm not running the ball here. A solid stiff arm. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 15 yards that time and a Buffalo first. Brent, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here, slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Ball on the 27. Here's second and a couple. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen sliding out of the pocket. Allen nifty footwork. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 12-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Get all the yards you needed and then some. And made that snap a huge success. Cook up the gut. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Again, it's Cook. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. Throwing his Allen on third. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And here he'll get it down to the seven. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tacklers. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Raiders heading out to take over. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Jacobs to start the drive. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And unable to connect on the long pass. He actually brings it in, but he was out of bounds, incomplete. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Oh, wide open, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now a quick throw out wide to Myers. So just three yards on the completion there. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. they're able to convert ah uh, so often when we're watching a football game we see one with a lot of ebbs and flows and this one is no different and sometimes you just need a big play to wake you up a bit and they get one right there that shot of caffeine this offense was looking for so how about this for field position after the big play inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10 inside the red zone it's garoppolo Quick throw there is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Here's second and ten. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he is in. Touchdown. Josh Jacobs taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Raiders have got it back to within a score. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll cut it to three at 
throwing the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And bulldozing his way through. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Well, James Cook and the Buffalo offense returning to work now. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They start the drive with Cook. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be, but still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Now Allen. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. So the shotgun snap to Allen. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Here's the punter, Martin, out to kick it away. On the return, Carter. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Las Vegas' offense back out there ready to go. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and nine. To throw is Garoppolo. And it's complete to Adams. And he's brought down. 17 yards is the pickup there for number 17. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized his offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then. But they're showing signs of life here. And they get good yardage that time and a first down. Here's Jacobs from the gun. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Excellent effort defensively. Tackle for loss goes to Leonard Floyd. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. The offense on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And it's knocked away and incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. 
Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Vegas. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. Now the new pickup from New England. This is Damian Harris. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Back to the ground, this time Cook. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. Now third down and seven. Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That play might not seem like much yardage-wise, but when you look at it maybe having to go three and out, pump the football again, it becomes an important conversion. Now the question, can they keep it going from here? So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. Right back to Davis. It's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Two yards to go, second down. And Davis will have a Bills first down as the tackle made up at the 27. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. First down, Allen. Quick slant to Shakir. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Throwing now is Allen. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and 10. Getting the ball is Cook running left. And he's gonna be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. On play action, Allen. And that is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now the punter, Sam Martin, called on to kick it away here.
That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. The Raiders offense ready to go. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Play action, Garoppolo. And he's taken down. Back at his own seven. That was Jordan Poyer, the safety in for the sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it. It's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He hits Adams complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. Well, he looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. So that play much needed there as they're all the way up near the 40 for a first and 10. On play action, it's Garoppolo. Over the middle complete, that's Myers. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. It's a gain of seven, brings up second and three at the 46-yard line. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pick up, first down. Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. It'll be a five-yard pick up there, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Now Garoppolo. The throw out wide going to be incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. There's Garoppolo to throw. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. They'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark him down at the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Jacobs. Oh, fighting off the defender. And he's going to pull his way down to about the one-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Jacobs will score. Touchdown, Raiders. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. 
Carlson now to add the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And with still more than a minute to go in the half, time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Throwing on first down is Allen. And his throw is incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Now Allen. And incomplete on the deep ball. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Harris running straight ahead, and they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. Here comes Carter. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and they will take over first and 10. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Garoppolo looks to throw. That's to the rookie from Notre Dame, Michael Mayer. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential, but when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Something apparently not feeling right to Garoppolo, so he'll step back and take a timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Garoppolo. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Garoppolo now, first down throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. 
Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. That's caught by Myers. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you, too, in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. trail here but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports on the return Deontay Hardy and able to get this out to the 25 the Bills offense set to take over to begin quarter number three well, out of the locker rooms here they come their first drive of the third quarter and Charles they're trailing in this ball game but we got a tight one and it's set up to be a very entertaining second half and as we know partner in the NFL there's trailing and there's trailing right sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down but in this case this is a tight ball game so there's a sense of optimism here I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said these are the plays we really like what do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going now a quick slam as the throw's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. to throw it's Allen he's got the connection over the middle to Diggs and that's good for a pickup of 10 yards and they'll be left with a second and about a foot it's a game of matchups and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch especially your best guys and when they work out of the slot you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go you can break out or you can break in that makes it hard to defend on second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper, 17 yards, first down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. Allen going to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. 
The intended target there was Gabriel Davis, but it'll be second and goal. They'll try the middle with Cook. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. 64 yards on the ground for him so far. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Again, it's Cook. And Cook will get in for a Bills touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Bills have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. And you can bet when they were in that huddle, there's definitely some urgency because I'm sure they were saying to each other, we got to push this one in right now so we have to run this on fourth down and there'll be extra bodies in the hole. That's excellent work there at the point of attack. All it takes is one little crease as he fights his way into the end zone. to the touchdown bass to kick it away from his end zone here comes Carter and ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25 so here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half and Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. First down there, but it's incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers, and he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Garoppolo now. He'll get this underneath to Jacobs, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. On third down, here comes Jacobs. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. Here's Garoppolo on first and 10. Caught by Mayer. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. That's to the veteran tight end, Austin Hooper. First target, first catch, and a first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size, 
can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. The throw down the field, caught by his running back. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Now is second and 10. On play action, now Garoppolo. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. So off is Garoppolo, and in comes Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. From the right hash, it's a 46-yard attempt. And this is just outside the right upright. It's no good, and instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Well, listen, we know that kickers are not infallible. Every one of us knows that, but still, down by three in the third quarter, this is definitely a makeable distance, but he doesn't hit it quite right, and it remains a three-point game. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Now Allen. And out across midfield, down to the 45. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. That's multiple times now. He's tagged them with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And Diggs has it. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. On play action, Allen. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And again, it's Allen. Finding Knox there, complete. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. 
They'll come up now, third and nine. To the air, Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Touchdown, Bills! Gabriel Davis, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bills are able to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. to the touchdown Bass to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So out come the Raiders. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. To throw is Garoppolo. And it's complete to Adams. Oh, that's sweet. What an effort. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off and then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and 10. Garoppolo looks to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Garoppolo to throw. throw there and it's going to wind up incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively and you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. The right side here caught by Kincaid. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Here now, second and four. Allen. Throwing 
quickly there, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Allen. That is caught, and he's going to have the Bills first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Allen to throw once more. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Coming right, this is Cook on the toss play. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Here's Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Allen off the play fake. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the map there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. No return here for Carter, and this will be a touchback. Now the Vegas offense heading back out there. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He'd love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Meanwhile, Garoppolo's throw pulled in by Renfro. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Raiders are going to get a new set of downs. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. On first down, Garoppolo. Same target, it's Jacobs again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It appears they found something that's working and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right, maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply, if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. Here it's third and two to throw. It's Garoppolo. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. It's been that kind of a day so far throwing the football. It just seems like nothing going right offensively. Yeah, it's a catch that should have been made, pure and simple. And look, everything else that goes into running a good pass route, throw it all out if you don't catch the ball. Been that kind of game throwing the football so far, nothing going right offensively. Carlson able to put this one through. And that will close the gap down to 14. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still got to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. After the made field goal, Carlson now sets up to kick this away. Now Hardy on the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And now we move our focus to Stephon Diggs. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Beginning this series with a handoff to Cook. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. 
74 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself, and that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not. It's incomplete. Looking for James Cook out of the backfield that time. And it'll bring up third down. Play action. Now it's Allen. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And that's one of the few things that has not gone right for this offense so far. They've had their share of big plays. That was nearly another. But somehow, he just couldn't squeeze it. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. This is taken at about the 14. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And now here come the Raiders. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 24. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now a throw here to his running back, and he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Here's Jacobs on first and 10 to about the 40-yard line. And result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Second down and six now. Garoppolo now. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Play action, Garoppolo. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dive defense. Blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Garoppolo, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Bills are going to take over in excellent field position. 
But down two scores, I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it, and it didn't work out. Had, they must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play, and they were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores, they must have felt like they couldn't risk not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. First down, here's the run with Cook. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Throwing now is Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And Knox is going to have a Bills first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. Allen and Knox teaming up there for a Buffalo first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Second down and eight. To throw, it's Allen. A quick throw there is incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Third down, here's a run by Cook. And he'll get inside the 10, but he's short of the line he needed. It's a six-yard gain, and it leaves him looking at a fourth down. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three? I'm with you. That seems out of the question. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Raiders now set to get the football back. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Grappolos, and this throw brought in here by Mayer. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. 
and gets it right back to Mayer. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A game there of 30 big ones. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now Garoppolo. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Jacoby Myers, the intended receiver. And now it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Multiple defenders getting to him there for a huge loss. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He finds Mayer here. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. The Garoppolo with a throw that's caught by Mayer, the tight end. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Jacob's going to try the middle. And he is not going anywhere. He will not even get back to the line of scrimmage as the clock will stop at the two-minute warning. See, yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this 11-play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. They'll try and wind down some clock with Cook. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, 
we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. On second down, Cook. Broken tackle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards that time. And a Buffalo first. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. Again, it's Cook. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory.